All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wawar Kakodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth. To the rest of the believers as well, you men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons, and daughters as well. And the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. Period. Point blank. All right. So we have a very heavy lot. The fact that we've been given this knowledge, wisdom and understanding. This is the greatest thing that you can obtain in this world, man. And the fact that out of all the people on earth, you've been given the faith to believe. You've been given a knowledge so high that most cannot obtain it. They can't reach it. Many people are seeking for the truth and it's hidden in plain sight. Many people are wondering where to go to for answers and the answers in terms of the men who are giving those answers are hidden in plain sight. All right. Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai has placed us in a very blessed position. As hard as it gets, of course, that's the balance. You know, as beautiful as it is, you got the counterpart to it as well. It becomes bitter. But I want to touch on uh, the book of Luke. Chapter 12. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking. Luke chapter 12 and 48. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whosoever much is given, of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much, of him they will ask the more. So if you have this truth, You've been given a heavy requirement. See, the, the majority of our people are going to be destroyed. We understand that. But Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is really going to get you Israelites who know this truth. And you're not of the elect. It's found out that you're a false teacher. You've been living a deceptive life. You know, you, you teach videos, you go out, you know, when you're supposed to go out, you're doing videos throughout the week, but then you've been committing adultery. Okay. You've been a serial adulterer. You've been committing adultery at a high level. Okay. You know, it doesn't make it no better whether you do it once in a blue moon or all the time. But what I'm saying is you have a lot of men who have this truth and they may not understand or consider the requirement. Because we can't carry ourselves like everybody else. Your common everyday Israelite in the world, they're not living separate from this world. They're a part of this world. We're supposed to be holy. We're supposed to be separate. Okay? We're supposed to be as the Israel of God. We're supposed to make our calling and election sure. We are supposed to put on the elect. We are supposed to wear those spiritual garments. Okay. Because we've been given a heavy task having this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And coming into this truth, going out there and teaching, you're also making a vow to the Lord. Okay. So we have a heavy requirement. What's demanded of us? to push this word, to endure, to not water it down, but to tell the truth, regardless of who becomes your enemy because of it, regardless of who looks at you crazy because of it, okay? And I can tell you, man, I believe people at my job know what I'm doing. You know, I have to make that a, uh, a topic one time, you know, if the spirit jump on me to do so. 
you know, there was a time I was going to go into that and my page was suspended, you know, and I just kind of, uh, you know, my spirit kind of died down on it. But, you know, if the spirit jumped back on me, you know, I'll bring it out in a lesson and talk about it. But regardless of how people feel or what they think, whether they believe or don't, we have a heavy demand. We have a heavy requirement. Okay. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. But now we're coming into a time where there's really not going to be that same excuse because the scriptures tell you that once this word goes out throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, then shall the end come, which means you Israelites can't make no excuses by saying you didn't know. So in these times to come, it's going to be real hard for a lot of you Israelites to, to wiggle your way out of what's coming. Okay. For unto whomsoever much is given, you know, those of us who are partakers in this ministry, those of us who are teachers and prophets, those of us who are believers, of him shall be much required, and to whom men have committed much, of him they will ask the more. So just like, let's say you want to be in a manager's position at your job, you're thinking in your mind, you know, well, if I'm a manager, I can be over certain people. Well, guess what? Much is going to be required from you being in that position. So you're not just going to be in a manager position, just sitting on your ass telling people what to do. You may have a moment where you're at home with your family, enjoying the time, and you get a random phone call. You got to jump into work and put in 10 hours because somebody didn't show up or something's going on. And you may not feel like it, but you know what? You wanted that manager position. So much more so when you come into this truth, when you require or when you when you um, are required to do what's demanded of you, when you have this truth, OK, you are put in a leadership position. You can't be out there teaching and prophesying and not be placed in a leadership position. That's why what we're doing is highly important. Uh, let's go to First Thessalonians right quick. First Thessalonians chapter two and verse one for yourselves, brethren, know our entrance in unto you that it was not in vain. But even after that, we have suffered before and were shamefully entreated. As you know, at Philippi, we were bold in our God to speak unto you the gospel of God with much contention. OK, so a lot of people, they may get offended. Because when we bring out the word of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy, we bring out the word with much contention. We bring out the word in a sense of it's a spiritual war. It's a spiritual battle. So some people may get offended. Some people may want to fight us. Some people may want to disrespect us or, you know, even kill us or get us removed however way they can get us removed. Because just like our forefathers before us, and Paul being a good example, we teach the gospel of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai with, um, with much contention. Okay, just like when you're watching a, a boxing match, you're watching contention between two people, you're watching a conflict. We teach this word as if we're in a fight, we don't teach this word as if we're shadow boxing. So, a lot of people may get offended. But nevertheless, we've been given a heavy responsibility and much is required of us with this responsibility. OK, we were bold in our God to speak unto you the gospel of God with much contention for our exhortation was not of deceit nor of uncleanliness nor in guile. But as we were allowed of God to be put in trust with the gospel, so we've been put in such a privileged position that we have been entrusted with the Bible. Basically, we're, we're, we're in a position where we are to be faithful with the words that we're saying. Okay, not to be teaching lies, not to be abusing our position because the Lord will kill us for that, man. The fact that we have this word, 
we're in a privileged position, okay? And being in this privileged position, much is required of us because we've been trust, we've been in, we've been put in a in a privileged position so much where the Lord trusts His men, okay? Because the elect are going to be found faithful, and part of the elect being found faithful is when they're teaching this word, they're teaching this word with all sincerity and truth, okay? You have a lot of false teachers out there. This don't apply to them. This is applying to those men who were set up from the beginning to be delivered and who are teaching this word how they're supposed to teach it, how they were taught to teach it, okay? So we've been put in a position of, of being trusted. We've been put in a position of a, of a heavy requirement, okay? So this is just... Uh, not something we made up on our own, but we've been given this. I'm going to close it with this right here. Uh, this is Luke chapter 4 and 18. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. So um, we've been put in trust with the gospel. But the only reason why we're able to teach the gospel is because the, is, is because the spirit of the Lord is upon us. And seeing that the spirit of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai is upon us to bring out this word. It's showing you it's not man telling you these things, but the spirit of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai that's being told to you by man. Okay? But guess what? Within man, there is a spirit. Okay? Now, the simple fact that not everybody has this truth shows you how special it is. Because the Lord could have easily made everybody believe. See, everybody doesn't believe based off of the Lord not wanting them to. Not based off of their own individual free will. Oh, that's played out. That's not trendy. No, based off the Lord not wanting the majority of people to understand they're not going to. But for a man to have this, this truth and they're in a position where they're teaching it, that is a privileged position, highly important. And we cannot do it without the spirit of, of the Lord on us. So Luke 4 and 18, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. And that's speaking of our people, the Israelites, more so the elect man, woman, son and daughter. OK, but starting with the man. We can't do this on our own. We don't do this on our own. And this is a, a highly privileged position. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and close it right there. You know, Lord willing, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai keeps the spirit upon me and you brothers out there to keep bringing out these lessons. You know, times are very difficult, but times are very beautiful too because we are in a time of our deliverance. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai has been having mercy upon us. He's been increasing us. In a lot of different ways and in other ways, he may be afflicting you and, and, and hitting you and hitting us or whatever. But you know what? We're, we're, we're um, better today than what we were yesterday through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, even if it doesn't feel like it. Even if you feel broken down and worn out, the fact that you still believe you're still in this truth, your mind is still on this truth. The Lord is still with you. And we got to keep that spirit on us, man, and, and hope and pray that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai never cast the, the Holy Spirit off of us because this is a highly privileged position. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Wa Rakakodash. Shalom.